Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, there's some information I want to give you because there's a conversation we need to have. Uh, quite a few people comment to me about, oh, you have so much knowledge, oh, you're so intelligent, oh, I, I just can't believe how much information you'll be giving out to people, how do you remember all of this stuff? I get those comments all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, it ain't what you think. I done told y'all, but you, you haven't paid attention. I don't take credit for anything. You know, there was a person who said, I will boast about such a man, but I will not boast about myself except for my weaknesses. See, if even if I did vote, I mean boast, excuse me, I will not be unreasonable for I would tell you the truth but I'll refrain from doing so. In order that no one can give to me more credit than he sees in me or hears from me. See, just because of receiving some extraordinary understandings. Now Paul says revelation, I say understandings. Now to keep me from becoming overly exalted, thinking too much of myself, I was given several thorns in the flesh. An angel of Satan that keeps slapping me so that I might not be overly exalted. Three times I begged the Lord to take it away so that it would depart. And he said to me, my undeserved kindness is sufficient for you. My power is being made perfect in weakness. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, what you hear from me is not mine. I told you I've never studied this stuff, but many people are not getting it. I keep saying it. I've never studied this stuff, but it's as if I've always known it. Well, you said something about genetic mapping, and that's correct. I did say something about genetic mapping. I said that the genes in you retain all the information of your ancestors up until a certain point. That's been scientifically proven. But who do you think gives me the ability of having that access? Think it's me? Look, I was watching uh, the actress, and I don't know the young lady's name. She played Miss Sullivan on Night Court. She passed away. Uh, over, with, over the past 24 hours, she passed away. And I remember her. I, I love Night Court. I love Mr. Anderson, uh, who passed Henry. He passed away as well a couple of years ago. And the bailiff, and I don't know why I can't think of her name, Rox, uh, something, I, I, I don't, I can't remember her name, but she also passed away. Night Court, I loved the show. I thought it was a very good parody on the court system. And it was, it was foolish, but it was Night Court. And the reason why it was called that is because they had just started Night Court. California was the first state to do night court. So, mentioning that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to let you know something. It is true I don't think like everybody else. It is true I sound overly confident. And I don't think that any of you should be judging anybody because they have confidence. Because the moment someone judges someone because of their confidence, it explains two things. That they either lack confidence or they feel that they're in competition with the one who has confidence. Either way, it's selfishness. Stop being jealous. If you want what I have, ask for it. I did. Seriously. As I told many of you, I'm the one lying on an operating table. There's a movie by uh, Terrence Howard. It's called Awake. Now, it's a little slow at the beginning, so I haven't watched it yet, but I will be watching it this weekend. But it's about people who undergo anesthesia and remain awake during the entire procedure. It is not the exact same thing that I went through. No, no, no. I awoke during the operation. And because I awoke, because they realized I was awake, because they saw my eyes open, 
They saw my eyes moving. Why? Because they weren't covered, because they were working on the eyes. The idiots gave me more anesthesia. Now, when they gave me an overdose of anesthesia, I didn't feel right. Something said something was wrong. And then somebody else said, hey, something wrong. And I said, oh, what the? And they said, what do you mean something wrong? His eyes are moving, mother. And he's like, what you mean his eyes are moving? And he's like, mother, his eyes are moving. Oh, what the? And next thing you know, they gave me, and in my mind, I'm going, oh, what the? And next thing you know, I'm going, oh, Lord, help me. Actually, go back and listen to the other videos. I explained how I called on the name of my God. Because there was no one else I could call on at that time. I could not call a best friend. I could not call the cosmos. I brought up the thing about Miss Sullivan because somebody in speaking about her the, forgot his name. The one who played the other lawyer next to her all the time. Dang it. Uh, Laura Kett or something like that. John Lork and Lorquette, or whatever his name is. Well, that idiot just got on and talked about how the cosmos, people, if the cosmos had anything to do with anything, if the cosmos was sentient, none of us would be going through this. Sorry, I apologize. Getting back to the operation, when those idiots did what they did, I awoke sometimes, several times, moments, months later, from a coma and could talk, could hold a conversation, could tell them what day it was, could tell them who the stupid president was, and had to cover up everything else that was wrong. So, let me tell you what I have by way of an understanding. See, Paul had them understandings. Well, let me tell you about my understanding. I know for a fact that soon I will not have the ability of having conversations with people. Soon I will not have the ability of remembering things. It will become very difficult. I've told people about this. Uh-oh, sorry, this is Kenny. He's from New York and now in Florida. So hold All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Kenny. Now, Kenny is a young man who's from New York. When I lived in New York, met this young man, and I have a lot of love for this young man. He's now living in Florida. So whenever he calls, he comes before y'all. He just got that type of personality where he is he's unique in his own way. He is different from everybody else, just unique. And so Kenny, who I haven't even seen in person since 2008, okay, but we're still friends. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to this conversation about thorns and fleshes. As I said, it's going to get to the point to where, and by the way, I told him about this in 2007, about how everything was going to end for me because I've already known about this since 2001 ladies and gentlemen it will be partly because of the disease partly because of the operation and then partly because of for my for my protection it's already I'm already seeing the side effects um, I have reading glasses because I can't use regular prescription glasses because of the disease. Myasthenia gravis and muscular dystrophy affects the eyes and the vision. So my eye muscles do not work like everyone else's. The more tired I get, the more tired my eyes get. It gets to the point that at night I cannot see. Of course, I can see things. I can see what's in front of me, but I can't read. And I cannot see past headlights. That uh, whew, bright headlights they get my high beams right back at them what the you doing i can't see mother you know that that's how that is all right what's the case about the thorn in the flesh an angel that just keeps slapping me plap, 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 plap. oh an angel of that that that, that, that character named satan um ladies and gentlemen so that i may not feel overly exalted 
everybody talks about my memory. As I said, I don't remember my childhood. I do not remember my family. I know who every single one of them is. Yes, I do know who every single one of them is. Know their personalities and everything. Grew up in the same house as they did. But they are strangers to me. And as much as I tell that to them, they don't get it. They don't understand. As much as I tell it to all of you, you don't get it. And you don't understand. The same as all of you are strangers to me. Well, my family is the same way. However, I know them. Like I said, I know their names, their personalities. I remember vaguely certain things that happened during my childhood. Like I said, maybe five days of my childhood I remember. And I've had that problem ever since the operation. And it has not decreased. This is what I go through on a daily basis. And I have some, the reading glasses, I have three pair in here. People say, oh, so that's why you be on the subject and you forget to go back. Oh, I get it. Oh, wait. I mean, why didn't you tell me about this before? Shut the up. God, ain't nobody talking about that. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. They're, I, I don't know why those people even can, I don't even know. They must have some special technology that they can get through the system while I'm doing the video. Lord have mercy. We'll be doing a video right after this. We'll be talking about judges and individuals getting some act right with judges. The amount of information, like I told you, even I learned from my videos. A lot of people don't understand me when I say that because they're not getting the point that most of the information, again, I have never studied. I just know what I know. I have begged, pleaded, demanded that somebody prove me wrong. Somebody stop me. And to this day, I've not seen a single person prove me wrong. Do I know everything? I don't care to know everything. I don't want to know everything. My name is not Jehovah. So no, I am not in competition with him. By the way, this is hands-free using the microphone of the computer. It's not going to sound as great because you guys are going to pick up all of my background noise, including the fan that's behind me. Uh, let's see. It's only 80 degrees, and it's 1045. It will probably be about 94 degrees today. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be about 94 degrees, but it will be a warm day. We've got fires everywhere in california as a matter of fact if you look down the street there's a fire over there there are fire everywhere i don't know why these firemen be setting these fires oh i'm sorry did i say it out loud i apologize i didn't mean that no i didn't mean no fire firemen would never set any fires so that they could get more money for the next year they would never do something like that they would never sit back and pay somebody to start a fire and then protect that person should they get caught they would never do something like that. That's their budget going up every year? Oh, their budget go up every year because they be putting out all these fires. That's why their budgets go up. It ain't because they set the fires and then put them out. The fire department wouldn't do that. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that movie called? Backdraft? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. But I know that it's a well-known tradition in America to do stupid things like that? Do, 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 do every fireman do that? Nope. Only the stupid ones. And only the stupid supervisors do that. There are many stupid supervisors and stupid ones in the fire department? Nope. Not at all. Because you can't volunteer to risk your life to save somebody else's life if you're stupid. Okay, I know some stupid people try to do it, but they don't make it. So, with all of the things that are going on on this planet right now, I was just talking to Kenny, and Kenny and I were discussing some things that I told him back in 2018, and just letting him know. I said, I warned you about it in 2018, told you this thing was coming. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic that I told you all about, this ain't it. It hasn't happened yet, but it's about to happen. So, be prepared. Are you ready to take the lead? Be prepared. Are you ready to... I'm sorry. Sorry, commercial. Let's take a commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, have a very good day, a very good life, a very good night, and uh, a very goodbye. Oh, yeah, he's crazy, Ma.